Hey everybody and welcome back to Mission Control for a quick tips video. In this video we're going to talk about USB MIDI limit fix. Windows 10 allows only 10 USB MIDI slash audio devices, MIDI 0 through MIDI 9, to have been connected in the past. From that point, new devices are ignored by Windows. This can cause an issue where USB MIDI devices do not seem to function in Titan for triggers. Using the core driver tools, you can remove unused USB MIDI slash audio devices to allow your current device to function. This is fixed only for the PC suite and is not intended to be run on consoles. To use the Korg tool as follows, use a web browser, navigate to uh, www.korg.com, yada yada yada, the link will also be in the description. Scroll down to download the driver, version 115 underscore R45E at the time of this video recording. After downloading is complete, run the downloaded installer, click next each time prompted, restart the computer, click the Windows Start button, find the Korg folder, then launch the uninstall Korg USB MIDI device software. After the software opens, click next, then click options, uncheck delete Korg MIDI device only, then click OK. You can now see all the MIDI slash audio devices that have been attached to your computer. This is labeled MIDI 0 through MIDI 9. Click in the check mark box to each device you wish to remove. Take care to not delete internal hardware of your computer. If you delete an internal device, you may need to reinstall its drivers to restore function. Click Next, then Yes if you're sure. Now click Finish. I find it best to restart the computer after this. Now attach your USB MIDI device and see that it functions in Titan. So let's take a look at that. Here I've got the computer I use for my Titan Mobile. And I've already downloaded the driver tools to it. So you can see here, we'll go ahead and run it and click next, accept, next. So now I've restarted my computer. So what I can go ahead and do is go into my Windows Start button and find the Korg folder and then uninstall Korg USB MIDI device. And we see once that opens, we go ahead and click next, then options, and we're going to uncheck Delete Korg MIDI device only and hit OK. Now we see here I've got these uh, all these devices. And I happen to know that this one and this one are not actual uh, devices inside of my computer. So what I go ahead and do is go ahead and uh, click those. And then I'm going to click Next. And then click Yes. And now I can go ahead and click Finish. And now my device should operate as expected. So this has been how to fix the MIDI device limit in Windows 10. I hope you learned something. Join us on Facebook, Ableist US. Join us here next time. Please subscribe. Thanks. Bye. We'll stop. Roger, we'll stop, Discovery. Welcome back. A great ending to the new beginning.